from the one and only. This is a Local 10 News Update, sponsored by Cutler Bay Solar Solutions. Good evening, everyone. I'm Nicole Perez. And I'm Calvin Hughes. And here's a look at the stories making news on this Friday night. A family tragedy in Pompano Beach. Broward Sheriff's detectives say a little girl died this morning after an incident with a piece of furniture in her bedroom. We were there when the body of two-year-old Hope Ford was removed from this home on Northeast 14th Terrace. Child Protective Investigators are now working with BSO to figure out what happened as the medical examiner's office conducts an autopsy to determine the cause of death. Florida is just days away from a major milestone in the vaccine rollout. Starting Monday, all adults 18 and older will be eligible for a shot. The state announcing federally supported sites will transition only to administering the Johnson & Johnson single dose vaccine. That's starting on Tuesday. Meantime, Governor Ron DeSantis issued an executive order today. Advance local governments and businesses from requiring people to show proof of vaccinations to gain access for services through so-called vaccine passports. Yet another Florida arrest in connection with the Capitol riots. William Reed is the second person in just a matter of weeks to be arrested here in Broward County and charged with being at the Capitol insurrection in January. Court documents show his social media activity, which helped investigators place him there. Reed was taken into custody on Thursday in Davie. He now faces charges for knowingly entering or remaining in a restricted building and violent entry and disorderly conduct on Capitol grounds. Be an authority on weather with the new Local 10 Weather Authority app. Live interactive radar, live streaming forecasts, future cast, lightning tracker, and more. Activate weather alerts and select weather from unlimited locations. Be a part of the Weather Authority team. Drop pins of weather-related photos or video. The power to know weather conditions anywhere. And it's completely free. Download or update the Local 10 Weather Authority app now. Search WPLG in the App Store. The Archdiocese of Miami. Miami is welcoming Catholics back to the church on this Good Friday. Dozens gathered at St. Mary's Cathedral in Miami. They all wore masks and stayed socially distant. Archbishop Thomas Winsky says the church is doing everything it can to keep parishioners safe. St. Mary's Cathedral is operating at 30% capacity and will do the same on Easter Sunday. As breaking news happens, we have you covered on air and online. You can always go to our website, local10.com. Be safe, have a great weekend, and see you back on Monday.